Allison. Can you explain what internet is? Pretty amazing. Truly wonderful the mind of a child is. Hey guys, Mr. Ogden here. Today we're going to be adding things to the links page and the projects page of our website. So as usual, be sure to make sure you click on your circle icon when you open up Google Chrome. Make sure you are signed into your first name dot last name at scanwarriors.com. Once you're in that proper account, go ahead and click on your waffle, go to classroom, click on the proper period and the assignment will be at the top. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go to this class and the assignment will be listed on the top. Just click on it and it'll be this Google Sites, add things to your links and projects page. Okay, and once you're in, we're just going to simply go through the assignment here. So directions, it says add clickable links to different websites and add screenshots of your work. Okay, you will add links that are listed below as well as some of your own, as well as some of your own. So meaning your own links. I'll get more into that later. You will also add work to the projects page of your website. So that's talking about work that we've done so far this uh, the first two quarters. You'll be adding that to your website. Again, I'll show you how to do that later in this tutorial video. So step one, you're going to watch the tutorial video. It'll be listed down here at the bottom, but right now I'm making it. Step two, uh, add all the links listed below to the links page of your website. So here's all the links right here, one through 12. I'll talk more about that soon. Uh, step three is add all the projects uh, to your projects page of your website. I'll get into that later. Publish your website, which always means save. And then come back to Google Classroom when you're done with all of that and just simply click right here, mark as done. Okay, so links page, add the following links with a photo and text for each of the following websites. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to the top right here and just click on this little plus so I can add another page, add another tab I mean. And so here's my Google Sites uh, assignment still and then I have a blank page here. You're just gonna click on your waffle and go ahead and go to Sites. Make sure you're in the proper account. Click on your circle icon. Make sure it's the proper account. And open up your website. It'll show up right here. Just double click. And we're going to start by clicking on the links page of our website. So if I go up top, click on links. I can also go to pages over here and then click on it over here as well. Links. Okay, so here's the links page of my website. And so what it what we're going to be doing is we're going to be copying and pasting and figuring out first of all what this website is and then we're going to put it as a link right here on this links page. So let's start first by going to insert and for this what we're going to do is we want a photo uh, with a description. So what we can do is simply this one right here, this one or this one, any, any three over here. Okay, you can use, I'm just going to click on this one and now I get four, perfect. Uh, so if you did the two Okay, you can do two bigger ones, or if you did the three, you can do three medium size. If you didn't want that, you can just come over here, hit delete, hit delete, and I'm going to just start by using the four. So what we're going to do here is put a, a photo of whatever this website is, and then we're going to click down here at the bottom and title what that website is. So what does that mean? Well, let's go to Google Classroom. What I want you to do for copying and pasting, remember, hold down Control and press C for copy, and then to paste something, hold down Control and press V as in Victor, to paste it. Okay, so for this first website, when you click on it, it opens it right up here. And as you see, it's a Fresno Unified District uh, School website. And what we need to do is we need to find a photo that we can use for this website right uh, that we can place right here. Okay, now at this point in the video, you're going to need to use the snipping tool to create a screenshot or to take a screenshot of that website. So if you don't know where the snipping tool is, you need to go down to this tutorial video at the bottom and watch this uh, briefly. It'll show you this one minute video. It'll show you how to use the snipping tool to take a screenshot um, and then use that photo. So what we need to do is we need a, just a small little icon that for this website that can remind us what it is and we'll put that photo right here. So for this first one we're going to take a little screenshot. Mine's a little different but I'm just going to take a screenshot. You'll be using the snip tool and just take a screenshot and then it's going to save to your desktop. So when you click on this plus sign right here on your back on your website, now I can go upload this photo uh, from my computer. And so you got to go find it. And I'm just going to use that one. 
and it's okay if it's not uh, totally perfect. See how this one's kind of more square. Um, you can drag and make this longer if you want. Okay, you can click and move these around different places. That's okay. It doesn't really matter where they are. I'm just because this is longer. I'm just going to go ahead and click on this little dot and drag it. Okay, so now this first website is Fresno Unified School District. So we're just going to come down to the bottom here below the photo and it says click to add text and just type in Fresno Unified School District. Okay, so my first one's done. Again, you can publish it as you go. Publish and click publish again. Remember that just saves it. So I'll show you one more. So we can close that website out. We're done with that one. Oh, actually, we need to pull that website back up. I forgot one step. So what we need to do is once we have our photo and our text in there, we need to turn this photo into a clickable link. So that way, when I click on this photo, it'll take me directly to that website. So first, what you need to do is go to this website and just click in this search bar at the top. Okay, the URL bar. This one, all you do is you click once. So if I bring my mouse right here and I just click once in this bar, click once, it highlights it the entire website for me. So what I'm going to do is now that it's highlighted, I'm going to hold down control on my keyboard and press C as in cat to copy. I'm going to go back to my website. Now that I have the photo in here, I'm going to click uh, on the photo and then there's this little button right there that says insert link. Okay, It's like a chain link on a fence. You click insert link and now if you hold down control and press V as in Victor, Okay, and click apply. It'll now take me to that website. So if I go publish and I click publish again, now to test this out, it's not going to work right here because I'm editing my website. But if I come up here to this top button that says preview, I can click on preview and that will preview my live website on the internet. And so I can click on home, projects, blog. Okay, and I go to links and now when I click on this photo, Boom, it'll take me directly to that website. Okay, so that's what you do for the rest of the links. And when you get down to page, uh, excuse me, uh, links 10, 11, and 12 on your website, again, it doesn't matter how you organize them, you just uh, put them on your website. And when you get down to those, you just choose three websites of your choice. As long as they're school appropriate, it could be your favorite YouTube site, it could be Among Us, everybody loves that right now. It could be all kinds of things as long as it's school appropriate. And again, you're just finding a photo just like I did using the Snip tool to uh, take a screenshot and then go ahead and add it um, to your links page of your website with the photo, with the text of what the website is, and then click on that photo like I showed you. Okay, click on that photo and then click that link button, copy and paste the link from the top and you'll be good to go. So continue adding all the links that are listed here on Google Classroom. So there's a student uh, atlas page, there's a Scan Warriors Twitter account, Word Counter, Quick Draw, Free Rice, NitroType, Login to Microsoft Online, Fresno Unified, this is our Scandinavian website, and then three websites of your choice. Okay, so the second part of this project, which is kind of two projects combined in one, is the projects page. So first of all, if we go back and take a look at Google Classroom, we have all these different assignments that we've done throughout the year, and we're going to be adding these to the projects page of our website. So it says, add the following projects using the SNP tool to the projects page of your website. Be sure to include one to two sentences describing what the assignment was. So again, uh, you can watch the snipping tool video below to show you how to use that SNP tool if you need to, a refresher. But I put the date. Uh, and the assignment name that I posted the assignment in Google Classroom. So if I just simply hit the back arrow and I go find the first one, Google Draw Family Poster. So I go down to the stream and I just scroll down. Okay, I can find mine. Google, where's Google Draw? Oh, there it is, August 29th, Google Draw Family Poster. Okay, so here's my poster that I have up. It's over here on the top right. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on it. And you can do a couple different things with, with this one. You can, one, use the snipping tool where you pull your snipping tool up and you do a, a screenshot okay, of the Google Draw um, Family Poster Part 1 that you did and just simply do a, a little snip of it. Okay, So it, it takes a screenshot of it. Or you can go File, Download, and then save it as a PNG. Okay, .png. Then it'll also save to your downloads. So what we're going to do now is go to our website 
and we're going to go to the projects page of our website and just like we did for our links page we're going to go to once we're on our products page we're going to go to insert and again we're going to do a photo with a description I'll just do the two side by side of what the assignment is so now we're going to add that photo that we just used for this first one which was Google Draw Family Poster so I'm going to go back to the assignment which is way at the top so the first one right here is Google Draw Family Poster I've already downloaded it and I've used a screenshot you just need to do one of those things and what we're going to do is we're going to click right here and we're going to upload that photo that we just did we have your screenshot or either you downloaded it it might be over here in the downloads folder so be sure to look at that one too because there it is in the download now I'm just going to add that and then I'm going to it says I need to um, be sure to include one to two sentences describing what the assignment was so Google draw family poster if you're not sure what it was you can go back and look at it on Google classroom but I remember so I'm just gonna click below and say this was an assignment where we had to create or where we created a poster about our families period oops spell assignment wrong okay and there it is now I have my photo and I have my text describing what the assignment was and again if you click on the photo you can click these little dots and drag it make it bigger smaller uh, whatever you like okay and again after you are done you can always come up to the top and click publish and publish again if you want to see what it looks like live on the internet you just come right here to the preview button this one click preview and then you can see your projects page there it is if I click on my links page oh look this one still works click on the photo it takes me to the website so what you do if you want to go back to editing your website just click the back arrow and one more time and now I'm back to editing with all the tools okay so you're going to continue adding all the projects listed on Google Classroom 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 using the snip tool to take a screenshot of those or if you want to if you know how to download them you can do that as well and if you notice the requirements are pretty simple so add all 12 websites with a photo and text so on your links page right there all 12 of those that we went over earlier and then you're going to turn all the photos into the clickable links like I showed you add all eight projects to your projects page which those projects are right here one through eight and then you're gonna write one to two sentences describing each assignment like I just showed you for the assignment right here for the first one the family poster once you complete all eight okay, you come back to Google Classroom like step five says and click mark as done okay uh, here's how I'm scoring it it's 50 total points 15 and 10 for your links and 15 and 10 for your projects okay don't forget to look at that snipping tool video on how to take a, a screenshot using the snip tool all right that's it let me know if you have any questions